this is Lady Beaver and today on our nerd ventures we will be opening up one third of this box. <laughs> so this is uh, the Minifig series 16. Um, I got this a couple of weeks ago, just haven't had time to open up any of these guys so I'm going to be opening up, as I said, one, <laughs> one third of this box so far. Um, now let's see if I can, I'm not going to ruin this thing at the moment because I can't get it out. <laughs> but yes, that's what we'll be doing and um, we'll see what we get and it's going to be fun. And then we're going to go open this one in another video and then this side on another video. Now, um, I can't remember exactly how many are in here, but I think there's 20 in each row. So I think there's 60 in total. So I hope that we get like a good variety in each of these rows because I know that they really do like to double everything together. So yeah, so we're going to be right back. We're going to bring you down and uh, open up some of these guys. So yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back um, and we're going to open up the first guy and see what we get. Um, also, this is the um, little guide of all the figures that we can get. As you can see, there are 16, I think, <laughs> to collect. Um, and as you can see, there's just some little details on how you might need to make them. Because some of these can be a little bit tricky. So the first up is, ah, very cute, is the guy, the, I don't know what these are called. I should have realized that I needed to know what these names were. Uh, this is the um, first place dog show guy, I guess you could call him. Um, so we'll put him here. I love his little, his little dog, because it's so cute. somewhere but he because he needs to be like that. And he can hold the thing in his hand so that he can be so that he can have the little dog on the stand with him. Okay so as you can see this guy is freaking adorable. Um he has the little um uh, Western Terrier, Western Highland Terrier from the looks of it, he does have a blue ribbon and he has a dog treat in his pocket, so very adorable, I love the little dog space, um, because he's got his little tongue sticking out and he's also got a trophy along with his blue ribbon. Okay, so the next one that we've got is the Pirates! So let's have a look, see here. Now, oh, both of these guys have uh, one side of faces, I should say. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, so this guy has a pretty cool looking map. It does have X marks the spot on, on here. Um, it is kind of tiny, but... Oh, see, my nail's getting in the way. But there is an X right there um, to mark the treasure. And I do like this guy, even though I know a lot of people don't like the bold cap. I guess you could say, um, but I think he looks still adorable. So I really like the detailing on um, his chest and he's even got an anchor tattoo, so very cute. And I like him, um, like the stubble on his face and all of that. And I, no, oh no, he's just doing an arg face. I thought he might have had a, a gold tooth or something. <laughs> so that is two. So we're doing, I guess, as well as we can so far and there we go there's our first duplicate um duplicates are normally um in a row um so i'll quickly make this and we'll be right back okay so now let's have a look see if we can get something new 
Okay. Ah, so we've got the cyborg. Now I've actually gotten this once before, but that was because I bought um, a couple of figures. Um, just um, while I was waiting to get the box and everything like that. So let's put her together. Now uh, she does have just a normal um, black torso piece. Um, but then she has the armor over the top so that kind of makes it the reason why she doesn't have any printing but she has quite good detailing on her arm I don't know why these hands are all not the right way so let's just do that and cool now I actually quite like these little stud pieces because they are hollow and I know that they're quite rare and I know a lot of people like these particular pieces so as you can see um, very nice detailing on her face, her chest and her legs, even the cool arm with the grey uh, robot hand that she is because this is the cyborg. So it doesn't say cyborg lady or cyborg guy, um, this is just an e-cyborg and you can also clip her gun if you really want in her, <laughs> in her back but kind of defeats the purpose because it doesn't look quite good sitting like that. So we'll leave it in her hand. So we've got three things so far. So hopefully we can keep up the scooter. And there we go. There's our second one in a row. So let's see if I've got everything. And we'll be right back. Okay, so yes, don't do what I just did and put her torso on the wrong way because um, with her legs because uh, it won't go the right way. <laughs> so, and there we go, three for three with doubles. So, as I said, they're always packaged normally in the same row. Um, and... It's, yeah, it's normally always the same ones in the same rows, so just be aware of that. If you are picking these out from a fresh box at a shop, um, just remember that you may need to look in different rows um, when you're feeling things. Um, now, I guess when you're looking for these particular figures as well, you'd be wanting to look for the dog with this guy and the trophy because they'll be the two easiest things you'll find. This one, probably the sword. I don't think there's any other swords in this thing. Oh, wait, there are. Uh, so you're probably looking for the bog cap, if anything, or the um, tile piece. Actually, yeah, you'll probably be looking for the tile piece because he won't be as like bulky as the um, the hiker and her probably her chest piece and her gun. So for those two, okay. So hopefully we can get something different this time. And yes, we've got the I don't know what this guy's called. He's like Robin Hood, but not. So <laughs> um, he's kind of like a rogue um, type of guy. I probably should look these these names up. So I actually really, really adore his face. Um, it's really cool. It's kind of like smirking. He does kind of remind me of Robin Hood, and I just forgot to put on his his quiver. But um, the only thing I don't like is I wish it wasn't a full mask. But now he just kind of looks like a ninja, and I don't like that. So um, I think they kind of miss the mark with this particular um, guy and if you don't notice if you don't know anything about archery he does have a different hand because different colored hand it is uh, I guess leather instead of flesh uh, because you can hurt your fingers real bad I know <laughs> when you when you do archery so that is that. So he's got quite nice detailing on um, his front. Most actually, what, I, what am I saying? All these new, all the minifigures that keep coming out are just freaking amazing. And I like that he has a silver wolf or fox. So that is that for that one. Now let's see if we can get something that's not the rogue there. But I'm guessing, yep, it's going to be the rogue. So as you can see. Um, Obviously these two may have just been a little bit different in the box, which is that because all these other ones have been 
literally one after the other so which is kind of annoying <laughs> it'd be kind of annoying if you got like five in a row of the same thing because you because I think there's a couple that might be five within a box so just be aware of all that but at least you can see what um, I'm getting in my box so four for four with getting doubles of everything so let's have a look at this one and see what we get and there we go <laughs> speak of the devil when I was saying about getting multiples not just two in a row the same but this one is three in a row because I think he might be the most one of the more duplicate arm ones so So two, four, six, eight, nine so far. So let's have a look and see if we can get something different. Um, let's have a look. Ah, so we got Spooky Boy. So if you forget, back in the Halloween series, I think it was, was Spooky Gal. Now this is Spooky Boy. Let's quickly make him. He comes with a book. Sadly, it's not one of the new type books, which is kind of stupid, I think, in a way because he can't touch it I mean um, he can't hold it so um, which is kind of annoying but as you can see uh, we have the spooky boy he has an amazing um, skull because he's got, he's got kind of an emo haircut he does have the uh, same hair piece as the cyborg but not blue with silver streaks we do have a spider here though you probably can't see it now um, I do really like the um, the printing on his arms with they are dual molded which is always nice he's also got dual molded legs which is cool I haven't actually been going through what people have got dual molding and not but I love the detailing on his pants so if you were looking for something that was like for a teenage boy or something change out the white hands and the white face and you got a cool looking thing now he does have a little um, sad face with one tooth sticking out so who knows he might be a teenage vampire a vampire a vampire and in the book it's just one of the normal books and with nothing in it but you can normally put in small things into it but yeah as I said this these types of books are kind of a bit stupid because they don't you can't hold them in their hand and um, it's kind of annoying because you can't really Hold them at all so I'm just gonna rest him up here with his book no anywhere so <laughs> so yes there we go there's another one at least we got a different one finally so okay get that out and hopefully something different and obviously not because that's how these things go like maybe something different hopefully I guess we'll have to wait and see and yes it is and it is the the ever always exciting mascot character um, everyone loves the, the suited guys or girls in these mini fig series and this guy is in no way not amazing so this guy is pretty freaking adorable um, I know lots of people were complaining about the banana sticker but bananas normally generally have a sticker or at least back when I was a kid on bananas um, so that's the reason for it and I'm pretty sure that the main brand normally had it a blue sticker at least here in Australia so he is amazing he's just a normal guy he's got Dual molded arms, which is cool. He's got um, just normal blue pants, normal blue, uh, sorry, normal green shirt, and he's just got cool shades to look like a cool banana. So that is something different and amazing. So I'm just so glad that I got to see one of these in this particular video because it is amazing. And I bet you this is going to be a banana, is it? Place your bets, I guess. <laughs> and yes. It is another banana guy. Okay, so we got something different, finally. 
Okay, so this is the spy. Uh, he's actually um, looks like he's actually part of the old agents range because he does have a agent A on his shirt. So I love this hairpiece. I just hate that it's got the molding to put the goggles on him so if you want to see him without his goggles he just has a stern face with a microphone but his hair is amazing but then you cover all that awesome up kind of if i can even get these on with the night vision goggles if i can even get them on and i forgot the backpack anyway <laughs> So he has a backpack, he has a rope, so he kind of reminds me of the Mission, like Mission Impossible um, guy. So let's just get all this together. He has a rope, uh, which is obviously made out of rubber so it keeps bending, I can't get it in. And he has a normal, kind of like, very simple pistol, but it works, which is great. So. Mission Impossible, anyone? So that is that. As you can see, there's these goggles and all that, and fun. You know, I like it, except for the he has an amazing hairpiece that kind of gets ruined by the goggles being clipped into it. So that is that one. And there we go, another spy. Okay, so uh, a couple more for this particular row, so, and we got something new, which is always fun. Uh, now this guy is the Arabian Knight, I guess for an Arabian Knights. I love that most of these, um, whoop, most of these, if they have like the different colored shoes or something like that, they actually have, they're all jewel molded, which is nice. Okay, get his head on. Now this guy's got a ridiculously large scimitar, um, but you know, works. Um, he's really detailed um, on his sash. Uh, he's got abs, he's got some more, more um, built line sash kind of thing. Here. He's even got printing on his toes, which is actually kind of cool. Um, and this sash part does come around the back, still with more detailing, and he does have gold cuffs. So very cute uh, for something a little bit different. You know, we don't get normally like Arabian Nights stuff, so it's always good to get something a bit unusual and different. So we're down to our last four here for the first row. So let's have a look. It's probably going to be another Arabian Night. How did I? How did I guess? One. Now this one's one of the few that um, has a double sided face, um, she does also have dual molded arms, I love this suit. This is the wildlife photographer, um, very adorable. Now why is that? Ah, I know what that is now, it goes on there. Now she does have goggles because she is out in the arctic as you can see very very cold and chilly and and she's trying to take a photo of a penguin um plus as you can see there's her goggles but then if we turn her thing around she does have a winking face because that is for when she takes her photo you have to close one of your eyes don't you um oh, the penguin is adorable i don't know if we've gotten this type of penguin before uh, but she does have a cool camera and a large lens so very cute i uh, love this okay two more i'm guessing this is going to be another wildlife photographer <gasps> wow that's actually impressive that we didn't get something in a row so but who knows <laughs> and i just lost a mustache okay there we go now i absolutely love this um I forgot what these guys are called. Um, I was going to say Luchador, but that is definitely not. Uh, Mariachi. There we go. Um, this Mariachi guy is very cool because he has an amazing hat. You know, we've got, we've got these, hat, these types of hats, um, these sombreros before. Let's see if I can get that on correctly. There we 
guy. It's more, this guitar is absolutely amazing. So I really, really like this. Now you can get both his hands in there, but I'm just gonna see if I can get it in. Okay, well, you, sh you should be able to get um, the little peg in there, but I'm just going to get him to hold it with just one hand because now I can't even do that, it keeps popping off. <laughs> there we go. Now this guy is very detailed. I love, love this guitar. Um, I now I can't even show you the shirt. I love that there's detailing in here, which is the same as up here. That's okay. He's great detailed anyway, and he's amazing. So, now, last one for this video, and then we can come back and do some more. And it is another mariachi. So, <laughs> out of all the things that we've got, we didn't get a whole lot when you think about it. Um, So what did we get? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten. Okay, so we got over half of what the whole set is, which is good. But um, considering that we got so many doubles in a row, it's kind of annoying because when you think about that, it is. If you're picking from the same row at a shop you'd get kind of annoyed if you kept getting the same thing if you were doing it random without um, pushing anything so I'm gonna bring it back up and we'll finish up there okay so we're back um, so these are the ones that we've all got from um, this particular video um, from one that's only from one row so um, and we got two two four six eight ten doubles and we got ten different figures so um, not too bad but then you know we got 10 doubles in one row so um and most of them were one after the other so as i said double check when you're picking your figures if you're doing this randomly in a shop you might want to feel at least a little bit to make sure that you're not getting duplicates over and over again but yeah um out of this particular one um i would have to say i like the wildlife photographer the best probably close second this guy and then who doesn't like my, um banana guy so you know very cute banana guy um so yeah um what was your favorite out of this particular um row unboxing um let me know which one you like the most which one you're hoping to get the most out of the, this particular set if not all of them um and yeah if you like this video give us a big thumbs up and if you want to keep updated with more of these unboxings um click that subscribe button below but thank you very much my lovelies and we'll see you in the next adventures bye, -bye!